It's just... I don't know what to do anymore, I said, pacing around the room. Really, I don't. If it's not one thing, it's another. Your inability to make decisions has led you to this point, and refusing to make a choice will continuously lead you to here. I heard a wispy voice say from somewhere in my room. I spun around, searching for the voice. Not just with this decision, the voice continued, but all others that will inevitably come in the future. H hello Who's there? I asked, looking from the bed to the closet to the dresser. Who said that? I have spoken. It came from the dresser, near the potted succulent sitting atop. Who? I said. I. It was definitely near the plant. I opened a drawer and ruffled through my underwear. Nothing. Who is I? I am I. I opened the next dresser drawer and found nothing there either. Can't you stop messing with me and just tell me who's talking? I spat straightening, glaring towards the succulent. I am speaking. The succulent's bright green leaves shook with each word. I am I. I took a step back. The wind pushed suddenly from my lungs. Y you what? I took a deep breath, exhaled. You can talk? A lot of species can and do, it said, leaves jingling together. I ran my hand through my hair glanced around the room, looked back at the plant. But how? Why? I have always been able to speak, but I have chosen not to until this moment. Why? Why is because you've spent many years talking about your issues and problems with life, and I have absorbed them like the water in my soil. You are about to embark on a new chapter in your life, Gary and I believe that you will need to hear my advice. Oh? I said. And what advice can a plant give? My advice is the same as what I said before. You are indecisive, and continuously find yourself in predicaments that you're not confident or knowledgeable of to understand. You make rash decisions due to this, and nearly 100% of the time, they are the incorrect ones. You are anxious and depressed, more so the former than the latter. You are young, but not young enough for it to be an excuse. You will move out from this place and have your own house, and that frightens you. But you believe that it will be fine because the other people of your race have done it and continue to do it without much issue. But the fear is still there, and I unclenched my hands and snatched the plant from my dresser. I stomped over to the trash bin and chucked it in. Throwing me away, Gary, will not solve the problems you have, especially the ones of intimacy you've been currently having with Megan. I wrenched the trash bag from the bin and tied it tight, then threw open the window. The cold wind was sharp on my warm skin. I could still hear the plant through the plastic. And you still continue to make rast dishes? That's all I heard it say before I threw it outside and slammed the window shut. If I had wanted a therapist... I would have went and seen one. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel.